Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Hiking Journal. In this episode, I take a quick solo hike out to two peaks. One of them pretty famous, and the other one, eh, not so much. Like I said in the last edition of the Hiking Journal, on my trip out to Wilson Peak, I enjoy perusing my mapping software and looking for interesting peaks or maybe an unusual destination for my next adventure. In this edition of the journal, I head out to climb Mount Whitney. No, not that one, but this one, in San Marcos, a suburb of northern San Diego County, and I also climb its nearby sister peak, Bob's Peak. No, not really. It's not really called Bob's Peak. It's called Frank's Peak. Now, both my girls attended and eventually graduated from Cal State University San Marcos, uh, just about a half hour south from our home in Temecula. Over the years, when they attended college, I had the opportunity to take a drive around the college many times. Two peaks towered above the new high-rise buildings, just a stone's throw from the back parking lot. And I thought, one day, I'm going to have to hike up there to the top of them. Turns out, they were named Mount Whitney and Frank's Peak. Now, according to the United States Geological Survey, there's two Mount Whitney's in California, just like there's two Mount Williamson's. Both of them are on the opposite ends of the altitude extremes. The big Mount Whitney is 14,505 feet, located near Lone Pine, California, and is the highest peak in the lower 48 states, while the other one is a paltry 1,729 feet in San Marcos near San Diego. Now, when I set out the Knock Little Whitney and Frank's Peak off my bucket list, I had a little snag. You see, there's not really a trail up to Little Whitney and Frank's Peak. In fact, there's not even a page dedicated to it on all trails. Well, yet. Turns out that on the top of Little Whitney, there's an antenna array pushing out about 3.21 gigawatts of radio RF, microwaves, and God knows what else. And that's all not what you'd call healthy to be exposed to. In fact, there's a big metal gate, a series of threatening signs, and even a chain-link fence just to persuade the honest law-abiding folks from taking a leisurely stroll up there with the kids. Now, Frank's Peak, on the other hand, is just a rounded, bald, brushy knob, but in its defense, it's got the same, if not better, views than Mount Whitney right next door. Another problem I ran into is that the access point to get to the start of the route isn't exactly on public land, so you got that to deal with. My trailhead parking lot is across the street at a well-maintained city park trailhead called the Ridgeline Trail off Twin Oaks Valley Parkway that just happens to change names to San Alejo Road right about where the parking lot is. That's the legal part. Once you cross the busy road, you got to jog around the north side of Double Peak School and dump out into a semi-paved road heading east. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Couldn't really find the name for this road behind the school. So I'm just going to call it Bob's Road. Find this road. It's like Bob's Road. <laughs> the paved section at the start is pretty, as it meanders through a lush shaded forest, but most people slam on the brakes when they see the private property, no trespassing, private road, and my favorite, the beware of dogs, I'm not responsible for your injury or death sign. <laughs> Oh, and there's also a large metal gate that blocks your access. Okay, normally I would obey people's private property rights. I mean, I wouldn't want somebody climbing over my back fence and hanging out in my yard either. But I did read several posts on a local mountain biker forum. And of course, they're not the most law-abiding citizens or anything either. But several of them said they went up the road without any problems. In fact, one post I read was supposedly authored by a lady who was a property owner just up the road. She claimed she owned 10 acres and had a small vineyard. She said that all the signs and the gates are just to keep the youngsters from driving up there and partying and trashing the place. I get that. She said she really doesn't mind the hikers and bikers because usually they're more respectful. According to my estimations, it'd be about a six-mile day or so, hiking from the trailhead parking lot up to the top of Whitney, back down to a junction, and then up to Frank's, and then back down again to that junction, and I have to somehow sneak my way back out to the Jeep without getting caught. That doesn't sound too bad. The last obstacle was just the amount of work traffic getting from the Temecula area down to San Marcos. Lately, they've been doing some good old Caltrans work and doing much-needed repairs to the southbound 15. It backs up the freeway something fierce, especially during rush hour. 
And according to Google Maps, there's really no good way around it. Even leaving my house at 5 a.m. only shaves off a few minutes. Now, normally, it's a 35 to 40 minute drive at best. But due to the construction work and repairs they're doing, the estimation shot way up on Google Maps to over two hours. Two hours to get 30 miles. Come on. Well, there really wasn't anything I could do about it, but leave a little later in the morning, so maybe the traffic commute will calm down a little bit. So I left the house a lot later than usual, and I fought traffic south towards San Marcos. Well, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of the journal. Uh, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Uh, thank you, Caltrans. Um, today I'm going to be doing a hike out to uh, two small peaks uh, in uh, I guess you'd call it inland San Diego County, uh, North County, uh, near San Marcos. And uh, to get from my house in Temecula to San Marcos, I have to drive south on the 15 freeway. And they're doing some kind of Caltrans work. Uh, it's been going on for a couple of weeks now. Uh, it's about a 30 mile drive from my house to where I need to go. And uh, according to Google Maps, um, it's two hours. 30 miles, two hours. Uh, and I'm going to be parking kind of just right up the street from uh, California State University, San Marcos, where both my kids went to college. And uh, I've made this drive a million times with them and for you know other things coming down this way. And uh, uh, it, it's a 45-minute drive at best. And uh, they're saying two hours now. And uh, yeah, this is this is ridiculous. So. Uh, Google, uh, good old Google Maps had me get off the freeway and take this countryside road, which is what I'm doing. It saves me like 10, 15 minutes. Um, and uh, right now, looking over to the right, the freeway is moving full speed, and I'm uh, stop and go. And the worst part about it is I have a stick shift in my Jeep, so it's clutch in, clutch out, clutch in, clutch out. And uh, it just now rerouted me, and it said that there is a faster way that will save me five minutes so I hit accept and uh, uh, last time I checked it was 22 minutes to the actual trailhead where I'm going which will put it at uh, I guess it's not too bad it says uh, 2.8 miles my watch it's a it's a right now I'm almost at an hour almost at an hour <laughs> and I've gone uh, just a handful of miles I've gone maybe 20 five miles maybe I guess and I was doing 75 for the first two-thirds of it so it tells you how slow it's been and as far as the eye can see uh, it's uh, you know clutch in clutch out so anyway I hope this hike is worth it it's been on my bucket list for a long long time and I finally decided to do it today and uh, I was hoping to get some little cooler weather today than yesterday and it's sucked in fog so after I go through all this crap to get to the trailhead by God, there better be a view off the top of this peak because I'm not looking forward to uh, doing all this effort to get a view of nothing. So anyway, stick around and uh, we're going to go up to Mount Whitney. How's that? We're going to do Mount Whitney. You know, there's not, not that Mount Whitney. There's another Mount Whitney. Uh, and that's the whole point of this adventure today is to climb Mount Whitney in San Diego. Anyway, that'll all be coming up next in this edition, uh, this edition of the journal. Uh, stick around and hopefully in another hour I'll be there. It, my luck holds out. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye bye. All right, well, my adventure continues. Uh, the roundabout way they had me go, um, I went down through about five different housing tracks, put me over by the college, and guess what? The road is closed. There's a detour now, and now it's turning me around and sending me back to where I came from. I don't know how far this detour goes. They've got construction going on all over the place for the school. Um, and of course now I'm following a, uh, a big dirt hauler. So we're just gonna sit here. This is gonna be uh, quite the, the journey today to get here. I, it looks like this might go around and I don't really know where it's going. Taking me through the campus housing. It looks like there's a dog park. <laughs> this is turning into a nightmare. I think, though, when I get around the, uh, the little roundy round here, uh, I can see a traffic light. And that might be 
uh, Twin Oaks Park. And if it is, I know where I'm at. Uh, and it's, uh, let me look here. Twin Oaks Valley Road. So, so, if, so this looks like the correct road, finally. And uh, if this is where I think it is, uh, I'm going to get uh, about another mile here, and the school will be back on my left. Yeah, there's the freeway to the right. And then I'll start climbing up the road toward the, <laughs> toward the trailhead. My God. It's uh, an hour and 15 minutes right now for 30 miles. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. All right. Well, I just passed the college, and uh, I'm finally starting to go up the hill here. And there's going to be a fire station on the right and a pullover for uh, uh, Double Peak Park. And that's going to be in my parking area. And off to the left behind these condos is Mount Whitney. And you can't see shit. It's totally socked in in fog. So uh, I don't know if this is going to clear. I, I kind of hope it does. Because Frank's Peak is over here. And then Mount Whitney's on the other side, so uh, we'll see when we get there to the trailhead. Uh, well, here's, the, here's a crosswalk, I think. Uh, is this it? This is uh, not it. This is a housing track. All right, we're climbing into the fog now, and um, I've actually taken uh, I've actually taken the trail from the valley below up the double. Uh, Peak Park. Uh, it's actually a pretty, pretty nice little place, um, and it, it's so foggy here. I can't see anything. I can't, uh, I can't even see where the trailhead would be. Hopefully, I'll be able to see the turn when it comes up. Uh, what a journey! This is a pilgrimage to see the peak. Wow, this is really sucked in. But you know, it's it's okay. Wait a minute, San Alejo Hills. What is this right here? This is something. Ah, oh, this could very well be it. Ridge Line Trailhead. This is it. This is it. All right, and there is uh, there's a few cars here, but they're actually not doing uh, what I'm doing. Uh, they're actually going to be going the other direction, and uh, I think I'm just gonna. I'll go around here and I'll park on the other side. Wow. That was quite the adventure to get here. Well, at least I'm here finally, so I can check that one off my bucket list. At least the drive to get here. What a nightmare. It took me uh, about an hour and 15 minutes for 30 miles. Wow. Anyway, got to get my stuff on, start heading up the trail. Well, hello and welcome back to another edition of the Hiking Journal. Today, I'm out in San Marcos, California, and it's, uh, I guess, considered North County, North San Diego County. And uh, I'm going to be taking a trip to two lesser known peaks in San Marcos. Uh, one of them has a very popular name, very well-known name, but it's not what you think. Uh, one is going to be Frank's Peak, and the other one is going to be what's known as Mount Whitney. And it's on, it's Mount Whitney on the map as well. So uh, I thought that was kind of funny. I've been looking at it for years. Uh, Cal State San Marcos, University of San Marcos is right below the hill here and uh, both my kids went to San Marcos, graduated from San Marcos so we've spent a lot of time up in this area and I've never been to Mount Whitney. I've seen it on the map and it's been killing me all these years so today was the day I decided to get my parents see it. Traffic was a nightmare getting here but I finally arrived and I was hoping to get a nice clear day and instead I got this. I got this uh, deep marine layer overcast cloudy foggy day and uh, hopefully uh, by the time I get a little higher up in elevation, I'll either be above it or uh, it'll clear by then. So right now I'm at Double Peak Park Trailhead, which is the trail that goes behind me. And I'm gonna be going across the street and trying to find my way to the top of Mount Whitney and Frank's Peak. That'll all be coming up next in this edition of the Hiking Journal. Alrighty, take care. We'll see you in a bit, bye. All right, well, I started up the trail. Not really a trail, I had to Cross the road, which is a large intersection, and cars were just flying by. And uh, it's, there's not really a, I guess there's a signal, but it's more of a pedestrian crossing. And I didn't think this one car was going to stop, and he was flying. 
slammed on the brakes, laid a little skid. I'm sure he wasn't too thrilled to see a hiker in the middle of this trail, but uh, coming across the row. Anyway, I, I made it to a double peak school and I don't know, it's a, oh, it's a road behind me here. I was wondering where that motorcycle was coming from. Uh, I made it up around the side of the school and as soon as you come up the school, you run into this uh, no trespassing, you've been warned, there's dogs, you will be prosecuted. Uh, but about 20 yards past that, there's a little side trail, which is this this uh, graded area right here. That's on the all trails map. And so I'm not technically on the road, I'm on this. Uh, don't know how legal it will be, but what I wanted to show you was number one, I'm out of the fog, the fog is down below me. But as I spin around here, you're gonna see two peaks. You're gonna see the peak over here with the uh, communications equipment on it. That is Mount Whitney. And on this side, over here behind those trees, that's Frank's Peak. Hopefully I'll be able to do both today without getting attacked by dogs, bitten by a snake, or arrested for trespassing. In the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can uh, get through this without getting in trouble today. It was uh, a lot of effort to get here. It better be worth it. Anyway, hopefully I'll see some wildlife and maybe I'll see some, uh, some wildflowers or some color. Look kind of pretty up here already. And this, uh, this fog will hopefully uh, lower a little bit. I'll get some great views too. Anyway, I got to keep heading this way, trying to stay low and, and avoid the radar or closed circuit cameras and work my way up to uh, an access road that goes up to the top of Whitney. Anyway, wish me luck. Well, I, uh, I sped out of that trail and I was gonna have to follow the edge of this road for a little ways, a couple hundred yards, but it went right by a property with a vehicle there. I could hear some noise, so I don't know if they would have objected to me, you know, being on their, yeah, there's a trailer and SUV. But I saw from a distance a cut in the hillside and that's where my trail is going to be and then I saw this I don't know what this is tractor scraping part of a fire road I don't know but it looks like it goes right where I'm heading so it's steep because it's straight up there's no switchbacks so I'm gonna work my way up and I'll check the map when I get to the top in the meantime I'm gonna try to stay uh, you know at least shoulder down in the brush so they don't see me. Probably not a good day to be wearing bright orange, huh? <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what. That first little section's steep. Whew. But looks like I'm gonna spit out right here on that access road. like it works its way up around to the right toward the top of Whitney. I hear the dogs barking. Hopefully the uh, owners don't come out see what all the fuss is about. I feel a little better now that I'm away from the house. Check the sign out. It says, Habitat Conservation Area. Check that out. Whew. Access permitted on designated trails only. Well, I think I would be uh, in the clear now. This is hard because it's straight up. There's no switch packs here. But uh, uh, you can tell I started down there by the road and I worked my way up here already. And uh, it's really rocky. I was gonna wear my uh, my Luna sandals today. We're doing the first Luna sandal trip of the year because it's finally starting to warm up a little bit. But uh, I decided in, instead 
to try out these. These are my new uh, Ultra Lone Peak. Uh, they're sixes or sevens. They might be sixes because I got them on clearance because it's end of the year, you know. Sevens are out. This is what I'm going to be using when I do Whitney, I think. The real Whitney, not this Whitney. And uh, it's supposed to be a daytime high. It's been hot at my house, mid-80s the last couple of days, but it's only supposed to be 68 or 69 here. So I think once this misty fog burns off, it's probably going to get warm. And I shouldn't see anybody else out here today. The fog's blowing in. Check this out. And you can hear the kids screaming from the school down there. I said, Frank, Frank's Peak's over that way, and Whitney's up there. That's where I'm headed. Doesn't look that bad. You now, as I'm heading, as I'm heading up, you can see the top of Mount Whitney poking out just through the trees, and Frank's Peak is over that way. I'm going to be working my way up and over that ridge to a saddle over there. Looks like it's turning out to be kind of a nice day, especially once I get up there. Well, what I wanted to show you from this vantage point is that's the first peak from Double Peak Park. And you can see the road that goes up. That's Twin Oaks Valley Road. It winds its way to the left. And there's another road that turns right and works its way up to the left of that peak. And you can see the glint, a little shiny glint on the very tip top in that little tree cluster. There's a bathroom. There's like a little amphitheater they have set up up there for... Uh, I don't know, for uh, ranger, ranger lid discussions. And they also have, I think, a star party that, that uh, has a telescope viewing at certain times of the year, probably during the Perseids or during maybe an eclipse or something, who knows, red moon. Um, but that's actually a really nice peak to go to. You can drive all the way to it, so you can take your kids. You can drive all the way there, get out of the car and walk, and you'll have tremendous views from that peak of all of San Marcos and Vista and Oceanside all the way out to the Pacific Ocean. It's phenomenal and it's, uh, it's drivable in your car. There's also on the other side of that down below, there's a park, a small little park in the middle of a housing track. I think it's called Lakeview Park or something. And from there, there's a trail that actually goes all the way up the uh, north side, the, the north bridge or whatever of Double Peak and actually spits you out right on top of that peak. I've done that one before in my uh, Februm Five Finger Shoes years ago. It's actually a really nice trail too. A lot of people use it for trail runs, but uh, I'm just glad it's clearing up. So maybe when we get to the top up here, waiting here, the top of Frank's, we'll be able to see the ocean. That'll be bitching. All right, keep going. All right, well, it looks like my little fire road has come to a junction. This, I believe, is going to be my junction up to Frank's Peak. I'm going to be going left. And even though Mount Whitney is visible right up there, I'm going to be going left and I'm going to be going around the mountain to the left all the way back about a half mile and making a large switch back. And then when I come back, I'm going to be heading up this direction toward Frank's Peak. Let's see what's over here. There's a sign. Let's go check that out. Well, I decided to stop right here. I'm on that one long switch back uh, on the way up to Mount Whitney and came to this viewpoint. Now I'm looking east and south besides having this two huge sprawling properties down there you got a great view uh, of the cloud layer and the peaks that are looking up above i believe that one with a point right there is kuyamaka peak as you look toward julian and i believe the one to the right you probably can't tell on the camera but it's got a bunch of uh, antennas on top i think that's mount woodson over there and then the one the little pointy one to the right I believe that one is Iron Mountain. So, and then there's another peak that's funny because you can see the clouds and all you see is the tip top. I don't know what that one is, but uh, you've got a small little repeater tower down there in a nice valley and a uh, pretty good view looking down toward, uh, I imagine that's probably Escondido down there. In fact, that's the 15 freeway right there going down, uh, down that way. And then the Palomar Ridge line is back that way. So we've got a tremendous view. It looks like we've got a big water tower right here. I can see the top of the uh, top of Mount Whitney right here. I hope there's no fence here because I'd hate to get this far and have to turn around. You know what I mean? But uh, it's a lot of gnats. Gnats flying all around me right now. Anyway, I haven't seen anybody up here, but uh, 
But me. So anyway, I gotta keep going. I gotta go around this corner. Gotta be kind of stealthy. You don't wanna run into anybody, you know? You know, as I'm around in the corner here, I told you there was a water tower up here. And uh, hopefully, when I get to the top of this ridge line here, there won't be a locked gate. I've seen people that have taken their pictures next to the uh, to the towers here, so at one point there was definitely no gate, but there might be now. Probably a lot of that's for safety reasons, because, you know, if you have a microwave station up there, uh, it's putting out a lot of radiation, and uh, you don't want to get exposed to the radiation if you can avoid it. I talked to my brother-in-law, who is retired Edison uh, foreman, and he was telling me that at the height of the tower, you're going to be underneath it, and it's all going to be shooting over your head. And if you're just there for a limited duration, it won't be a big deal. If you were there all day or multiple days, it'd be something to think about, but for a quick trip to get a quick picture, shouldn't be that bad. I hope. Well, it does, in fact, look like there is a fence. But did you notice I'm on the other side of it? And there's also a use trail that people have made. It basically just goes right around it. And the top of Whitney is over there. You can see the towers right there. Uh, I don't know if I should go this way or that way. It looks like there's several buildings there. Hopefully there's nobody there manning them today. All right, well, behind me is a, is a gate. It says, authorized personnel only. And a steep road to get to the top. Tower's right there. I guess I'm authorizing myself. I'm gonna stop, take a break here for a second. The page section is steep. So there you got Frank's Peak. There's an American flag flying on the top. As I slowly pan to the right, you can see the Double Peak School and then the, the yellow crosswalk. And to the right is where I parked and Double Peak is to the right. And just so you'll know, that's where I'm heading right there. That's almost the top. In fact, you can see how close I am. That's the top right there. You know, as I'm working my way up to the top of Mount Whitney here, I had a special drink I brought today. I saw this at Target. I thought it was funny. Goat fuel. It's like an energy drink of some kind. This one is uh, Tropical Berry. And I, I bought this just because I like the name. And uh, I actually tried one of these. It's actually really good. It doesn't have that, uh, that tang to it like when you, get, when you drink a monster drink, especially the uh, zero-calorie monsters. I can't stand those. This one's good. And what's nice about this uh, little can, it's a 12-ounce can, but it's taller and thinner. It's right inside my little holster here on the side. Whew. Too bad you can't see the ocean. That marine layer socked in everywhere. It is pretty up here, though. I'm not the only one that's been up here for a while. There's a little bit of graffiti up here. All right, here's another great view as I'm, I'm really close. 100 yards from the top. It's looking toward Palomar. There's a little notch in the corner. You see the snow? San Jacinto. San Gregonio is off that way, way off in the distance. And as you work your way to your left, way off in the distance, you probably won't be able to see that. It's actually Mount Baldy. It's pretty impressive, huh? And down there, that's about the road I came up on. But what I wanted to show you was this. That's where I'm going right there. Top of Mount Whitney. Well, I made it up to the top of Mount Whitney here in San Marcos. These are the radio towers that are on the top of Mount Whitney. Uh, I've done a 360 around the perimeter looking for a benchmark. I haven't seen one. Uh, at least I haven't seen one in the most likely spots for it to be. But uh, boy, from this little point, you've got a tremendous 360 degree view from here. I can see 
uh, all of San Gregonia range. I can actually make out Mount Baldy over in LA County. I see San Jacinto out on, over toward Palm Springs. And uh, I can see all the way out toward the beach. I can't see the ocean because the marine layer is, is pretty sucked in right now. I can see uh, Cuyamaca Peak looking out toward Julian, uh, inland San Diego County. And uh, I can also see uh, Mount Woodson and uh, Iron Mountain down that way. And the weather is absolutely perfect. And I, and I timed it just right because there's nobody here. So anyway, I'm going to take a few minutes here just to get a few more pictures. I don't want to soak any more radiation and radio RF than, than I need to. And then I'm going to get the hell off of this peak and hopefully skirt the edge of everybody and get back down to that road. Because once I hit toward Frank's Peak, I'm golden. Anyway, enjoy the view of Mount Whitney. And there's got to be a damn benchmark here somewhere. You think this is where it would be right in here. This would be the most likely spot right here because this is the actual high point right here. I mean, maybe there was a benchmark here at one time. Yeah, and they've busted up a bunch of rocks. There's some rebar. There's some, there's a pipe over there. It looks like it could have had a pipe cap at one time, but I don't see any, uh, any benchmarks unless it's in there which I'm not about to go into. And I can't get into it because it's locked. Not that I tried it or anything, but. It would be neat to uh, take a picture next to the Mount Whitney benchmark. But like I said, I haven't seen one. Even this area over here wouldn't be a bad spot for one, but nothing. Well, maybe I'll send a letter to the USGS and tell, hey, we need a, we need a Mount Whitney benchmark up here. <laughs> or maybe there was one and somebody stole it. I can see this sitting on somebody's desk in their office somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to finish my goat fuel and head down over to Frank's Peak. All right, well, I just left Mount Whitney from the towers at the top up there. And now I'm heading over to Frank's. And... Uh, Frank's Peak has a what looks like a American flag pole on top. That'd be kind of cool to see. And some tremendous views looking to the west and to the north. And uh, I'll look at Tick. Um, but anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about right here, since I'm in this little wilderness area, is you do have to be a little cautious if you're up here to be on alert for mountain lions. I'm not just saying that, you know, we're in the city and, and you can see the, the urban sprawl everywhere and you're thinking there's no mountain lions here, but right below us here at the bottom of this hill is Cal State San Marcos. And you know what the Cal State San Marcos mascot is? It's a cougar. And both my daughters went here and one of the times they were here actually in class, they got a mass text from campus security with a lockdown shelter in place because there was a cougar walking through the parking lot at Cal State San Marcos. So they do come down out of these hills. They do live here. This is their neat, uh, their natural area. And they wander all of these hills and they do go down into the campus. So uh, the thought of, you know, having a mountain lion up here in a remotely traveled section of the wilderness, um, it's a possibility. It's a very, very small possibility. You know, I'm not worried about it. Uh, it's broad daylight. If you're here at dusk, dawn, maybe the middle of the night, then it'd be an issue. But anyway, there's Mount Whitney. We're going to be heading up to Frank's. And uh, now that I'm sweating a little more because it's getting a little hotter, all these damn gnats are coming out. So anyway, shouldn't take me more than 20 minutes to get to the top of Frank's. doesn't look too bad. And I think up there there's a summit register. Maybe there's a benchmark. We'll see. You know, as I'm working my way up this, it's not really a trail. It's got tracks. It's like a, a road of some kind. I don't know what kind of road it is. I don't know, it's not marked. It's, uh, I don't know, Bob's Road or something. You know, I just wanted to say that uh, even though I'm on my second peak today, the road, the grading has been pretty decent. Uh, you can see the Double Peak School right there. Double Peak Park is back there. Ocean's out that way to get your bearings there. And, uh, Having a good day so far. I haven't seen any snakes, no wildlife, no uh, 
no squirrels, no rabbits, no lizards, no snakes, nothing. So kind of surprised. Thought I'd see a snake today. And as it heats up, odds just get better. Well, I'm not, uh, not too far from the top. A second ago, I saw the, uh, saw the fluffy pole. Now it's in the brush, and it looks like we're going to be going that way, all the way around it. But we do have a tremendous view looking off that way. And uh, it's pretty impressive looking toward the ocean. And I uh, saw my first critter. It was kind of cool. It was a little small horned lizard. And he scurried across the trail. I thought it was just a regular fence lizard till he stopped. And I got a better look at him. And I got the camera out. It was too late. He, I tried to get closer and he boogied down into the bush. So I couldn't see him anymore. And maybe I'll get lucky and I'll see something else. But in the meantime, I'm coming up to, uh, looks like another turn in the trail. And now I'm going to be going to the, uh, to the east side of Frank's and the view looking east and south and in fact over there is Mount Whitney where we were earlier. I'll be there in five minutes. Well I'm nearing the top of Frank's Peak. It looks like uh, there's the summit. There's our American flag. And I'm hoping somewhere up here is Benchmark. Well, it looks like I've made it to Frank's Peak. Good old Frank. Looks like we've got some, looks like we've got some lights hooked up. I don't know if they work or not. They have a very nice uh, flagpole. And they also have Summit Register, which I'm going to sign in on, and uh, get the official check-in for Frank's Peak up here in uh, San Marcos, California. All right, this is the official login for Frank's Peak, April 9th, just a few days ago. Hey, I got a phone call. I'll be down. All right. We got the uh, thing closed here. Oh, hey, can you hear me? Well, I made it to the top of Frank's Peak here in uh, inland San Diego in uh, San Marcos and uh, Right now I'm getting eaten alive by gnats. So the temperature is perfect up here. It's nice and clear. It's a little hazy out toward the ocean, which is this way here. Uh, Double Peak Park is over that way. There's Double Peak. And uh, I got a tremendous view from up here, as you can imagine. Um, I haven't seen a benchmark. I was kind of hoping there'd be a benchmark around here, but I guess there's not. But uh, anyway, it's been a good hike to get up here. And now I got to haul ass to get back to the car and I got to get home before traffic gets bad. And on top of that, my wife just called me. Our car battery's dead. My wife can't go to the store. So I got to run home, take the battery out, go get a new car battery, and then swap it. Because we're going on a trip to Julian tomorrow. And uh, that's all we need, right? It always happens when you're out hiking or when you're doing something your way from home. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this adventure, my trip to Mount Whitney and my trip to Frank's Peak here in inland San Diego. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. Uh, it's going to start heating up here pretty quick. I might have time for one more desert hike, then it's going to get too hot. I'm going to have to head to higher elevations. So anyway, take care. Don't forget to click and subscribe, and I'll see you down the trail. Bye-bye. All right, well, I've completed the hike up to uh, Mount Whitney and uh, Frank's Peak. So I'm just now pulling out of the, uh, uh, the ridge trail parking lot. I'm heading back down Twin Oaks Valley Road. And I'm going to take this all the way back to the 15 and head home. So it was a good adventure. I'm going to roll the window here so it's not so loud. Uh, 
uh, I was lucky the uh, the clouds parted and I got some really good views off the top. Um, There's quite a few gnats flying around the summit, but it, it was not unbearable. Uh, I did get one tick that I caught. I'll have to do a tick check when I get home. Uh, other than seeing one horned lizard, I didn't see anything else. No lizards, no rabbits, um, no deer, nothing. I was kind of surprised. Of course, I went later in the morning. I didn't even start hiking until probably 9. And it's only noon now, so it tells you I did the whole entire thing in three hours. I was moving pretty quick, and to be honest, it really wasn't that difficult. But uh, it's been on my bucket list, the opportunity to climb another Mount Whitney. This one here in Inland San Diego near San Marcos. And uh, I should be home in about 40 minutes, just in time to take the battery out of my wife's car and run it over and get a new one. Because she called when I was at the summit of Frank's Peak and said that uh, the battery died in the car. Go, go figure. Alrighty, well, take care. And I'll uh, check in with you on the next edition of the journal. I don't know where I'm going to be. But uh, anyway, be safe. Take care. Maybe I'll see you on a trip. Alrighty, bye-bye. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the Hiking Journal, my solo hike up to the top of Mount Whitney and Frank's Peak in San Marcos, California. The next morning, I started itching pretty bad around my elbows, and I was shocked to see some large welts all over my elbows and arms. Turns out, all those pesky little black gnats that were buzzing around my face on the summit of Whitney and Frank's Peak, well, they weren't exactly gnats, they were biting mosquitoes. As of right now, I'm covered pretty good with bites, but surprisingly enough, they're only on my elbows. Oh, I did get a handful on my legs, but nothing like what's on my elbows, and I couldn't figure out why. I mean, I was wearing shorts, so why come all those bites you know, are just on my elbows? Hike I, went on I think my of, wife uh, finally figured it out. In Frank's Peak, and all these gnats flying around, and I thought, God, these are annoying. Well, it turns out they're not gnats. They're mosquitoes. And just so you get an idea of what they did to me, this is... Uh, just my elbows and I have them on my legs as well but it's my elbows that took the brunt of it and uh, I think it was all because of this lotion that I used just on my elbows before I started the hike because I was all dried out and itchy and scratchy and I put that on and man the mosquitoes love it so anyway if you ever see this stuff here it's great lotion but don't use it if you're gonna go on a hike because the mosquitoes just had a field day on me up there so anyway thought I'd share that with you on my trip to Mount Whitney and uh, Frank's Peak. Well, we just got back from a weekend getaway to a quaint mountain town of Julian and had a great time. Well, the weather didn't exactly cooperate with us, and it was rainy and drizzly and windy and foggy during our stay, but we had a blast anyway. I got the chance to take my wife to one of my favorite desert viewpoints over Kawemi Point, and we stopped in at the Nickel Brewing Company for a flight of refreshments. We also got to meet some interesting people, and I got a tip on a great spot for a future adventure. Anyway, hopefully you'll get a chance to take a quick trip out there to scout it out before it gets too hot. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you down the trail. Bye-bye.